uh, in the few minutes I have left with you, uh, I'd love to. I've been conducting last dance exit interviews for a lot of people who, are, <laughs> who we've <laughs> now that now that it's all in the books. Um, did you learn anything watching it? I can't say I learned anything, and that's just because I'm old and I was there and yes. for most of it. You know? right. so I, I saw most of it. I mean, I, you forget some things. There's a, that's a different. That's a different point. You sure. know, like I, I did. I just forgot that Rodman just went to Vegas in the middle of the season. That's I right. forgot about that. You know, like, I didn't remember that. I just forgot that he, in the middle of the finals, just left to go do a WCW event. You know that. And it just it just kind of reemphasized to me, you know, what it re- I think a phenomenal job Phil Jackson did coaching that oh team God, those right? three years because it could have gone off the rails a hundred times, you know. Um, so you forget things that happen. Um, and I'm just what I've told people, Rich, is that I'm just glad that younger viewers and younger people who like the NBA now, you know, fans under forty who weren't there or they were infants when when that was going on, I have no recollection of it. I'm just glad that they have some sense, not only of how good Michael Jordan was, because he was that good. I mean, you remember, he was that good. I mean, that is not, we're not making that up. He was one of the greatest players, if not the greatest player of all time, right? But how competitive and dynamic the league was in okay. terms of the rivalries and the passions and the hatreds oh. and all of those things that those teams had for one another and and how compelling that made the games. And so it wasn't, and what I'm, what I'm trying to explain to people is that, you know, 85-84 could be a hell of a game if they really hate each other and every possession is a battle. You know what I mean? Like, yes. So, I mean, it, it's not just about, it's not just about, you know, shot efficiency all the time. You know, the part of why some of us older people really came to love the NBA was because the competition was so visceral and real, you know, and, and that meant, and that made it compelling, even though, they didn't score 115 points every game, you know. Like it was still really fun to watch those games back in those years. So, I, absolutely, um, it was. I'm glad that people get to see that. Me too, and I, I do remember part of the conversation being uh, at the time, and and this is legit. And now you look back, you're like, what the hell were people even saying? Like, yeah, but the Western Conference was so weak when Jordan would just win all the time, right? And then you saw, yeah. and then you also just saw too, the, 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 the people who he beat, he beats Magic, he beats Malone and Stockton, he beats Barkley and right. Phoenix, he beats, uh, uh, you know, Reggie Miller on the way, and he beats Patrick Ewing every single damn time, and then he beats Gary Payton mm-hmm. and the Sonics when they were terrific, and then you see, you know, the the Pistons, who he couldn't beat to start, then he vanquishes them on the way. Right. And the number of people who every single time I'd sit there, I'm like, you know what? Every fan base is going to get theirs during this 10-part documentary. Every fan base is going to get theirs. And then they showed the trivia, the number of 60-win teams, Jordan and the Phil Jackson and Pippen Bulls eliminated, numbers seven of them. That's an yeah. absurd number. And absurd. Yeah. Oh, by the way, and Shaquille O'Neal in Orlando, he wound up taken out Correct. too. Correct. You know, um, I, it really was just remarkable in that regard. But uh, last one for you here: Was there a story you told Jason Hare, the director, uh, mm-hmm. that that you thought, man, that would have been great if they if they aired that that we didn't see that hit the cutting room floor? You you were in the middle of so wow. many great stories from the 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 Fugazi, I guess, slight that yeah. um, that Jordan created. Um, his name escapes me. The kid from the the Washington, the Brad, yeah, Bradford oh, Smith. Oh, Bradford Smith. Oh, uh, just you, you were you were telling no, all was... these great stories. Was there one that you you told that like, man? I wish had made the final cut. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know what? I, I, a couple of people have asked me that, Rich, and honestly, I I was surprised. I, I they used me way more than I thought they would. <laughs> <laughs> You're a great storyteller, really David. Think, You're a great storyteller. I really didn't think. Well, here's the thing. Like, I did. I was one of the latter interviews that they did, and that's because of a lot of reasons. We just couldn't find a time to work for either of us for a long time. And so I thought, and I'm not, and I'm not being like self-aggrandizing about this at all, Rich. I thought, okay, they've shot. You know, they've done a lot of interviews. They've got all the tape that they're probably going to have. You know, that they're going to. But there'll be, and you know, this being in television. There, you tell us you have to cover it with something, right? right? Like you, to, you can't you can't just show blank screen. You have to cover it with something. So I thought, okay, I'll be the guy that fills in the gaps, the, the stuff they don't, the games they don't have tape up for whatever reason. Nice, you know what I mean? Like yes. you know, 
So I'll be that guy, and I'll be in like two or three times over the course. And, and you know what? I was, I'd was i be fine with that. You know, I was kind of expecting that. So I was pleasantly surprised. They used most of my stories. <laughs> <laughs> well, David, if, David, if, if, you, if you were a role player or a bench player for the last dance, you were Vinny the Microwave Johnson, man. You were, I mean, I you're, was, yeah, yeah, you heated Vinny it up. Yeah, I was Vinny or Steve Kerr or one of those guys. I, I actually That's contributed great. more than I thought I was. So I was, I was, it was a pleasant surprise. Uh, that, I was happy with it. Um, I can't complain about it. That so. was great. That, that, I mean, really, the, the whole thing from soup to nuts was was wonderful. And, uh, you know, at least at least what they did use of you, you didn't wind up on an iPad being handed to Jordan because you didn't want to be one of those people in the last dance. No, you didn't want to, you didn't want to get the mocking laughter, and, you know, the glow. Just the, just the, just the, just That's the last said. thing you want in the last dance is to be on one of those iPads that Jason Hare handed brought Jordan saying, here, check this one out. <laughs> yeah. uh, exactly. David, exactly. thanks for the you don't time. Know what that means. Yeah, oh yeah, you didn't Rick. want to be that. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate the time, Rick, David. It's a pleasure. Always a pleasure talking to right you. Right back sir. at Thank you. you. Thank you. That's David Aldridge. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.